Hi, this is problem 6.14, and here we have a machine. The purpose of this machine is that when you apply a force to this handle, it will transmit the force through this mechanism, through this pin, to produce a force against the, this could be a paper, or it could be a, a surface where you need that load to be transferred. And we want to know, if we apply a force F, how much force do we receive in, at this end? So how many pieces do this uh, device have? So this device has three pieces. As you see, this will be piece one, right? This will be the handle, right, two. And this will be a weightless link, will be three. And everything else is the floor, right? Is the machine, is the fixed support. So we will do the two free body diagrams. We will do the free body diagrams of this member over here. We can call it AB. So let me draw it as good as possible. So here we have this member over here. And I will include everything in the member till that force over here. So, and then we have the external force that will be applied over here, right? So let's call it force at surface. And then we have two reaction force because of this pin right here that we can call Bx and By. And right underneath, this is pin A that also have two forces, Ax and Ay. So this is this free body diagram. I don't have anything else. I have the two pins and the force against the floor. And then I have the free body diagram of the handle, which I can call, for example, BC, right? And so if we draw road dry handle, that handle, we have something like that, where this is behind point B. But in this point, we receive exactly the same forces, but in an opposite direction, BX and B, Y. And as you know, as you notice, I, just because I drew this free body diagram first, those are the ones that I put positive. If I would have drawn this one first, maybe I put this one positive. The important thing is that but for, uh, for, uh, to apply the law of action and reaction, these have to be the opposite. So we already drew the forces that are produced at C at B, now we have to include the forces that I produce at C. And as you see, this is a weightless link, so even though it's a pin, I will only draw a reaction that I can call CD. This reaction, the direction is known because this angle over here is 60. Therefore, this angle over here is also 60, right? So as you see, Right? No, this angle is not 60. This one, if this one is 60, this one over here is 60, so this one will be 60, sorry. So that angle actually is 30, right? Look at that. So if I draw my triangle, this angle over here will be 30. That's the one I'm drawing. So this is 30 degrees, okay? Because this one over here is 60. Okay, so, I mean, to make it very clear, this is 60, therefore this is 30, and this is 30 as well. And finally, in my handle, I have the applied force. So, for, it's always the, if I draw my two free body diagram, is where do I start? And as you see, in this free body diagram, I have 
four, five unknowns. So I cannot start by this free body diagram. So I go to this free body diagram and I notice that I have only three unknowns because I the force is not unknown because even though I know I do not know the value, they want me to get a relation between those two forces. So I will assume this as a known value and I will express everything in terms of that force and the distance A. So we can have any dimension and scale that machine, right? So as I say, I will start with the free body diagram. So from the free body diagram of the handle, So what should I do? What I'm going to do first is take moment at point B, and I know these dimensions. This is a half, and this over here till here, since this is 1.5 and this is 1 half, this is 2A. And then I take moment respect to point B, And I will have this distance is also important because I, this is one half A. So from here to here, I didn't draw it at a scale, is A half. So I have that the vertical, vertical component of this force produce a negative moment of one half and the component in the vertical direction, and the vertical direction will be cosine of 30, right? Plus the horizontal component will produce a positive moment, also at 1 half, RCD, sine of 30. And then I have the moment produced by this force, which is 2A in the negative, 2AF, and that's equals to C. Therefore, I can write this component, let me get it, AI, cosine of 30 square root of 3 over 2, plus A sine of 30 is 1 half, all that will multiply RCD, and that will, all of that will be equals to 2AF. So finally, I am able to find the reaction CD in terms of F, and I get that the reaction is equals to, I have the result right here, is equals to 10.93F. The values of A will cancel out because they are in both sides of the equation. What is the equation that I will apply in this free body diagram? I will apply moment respect to A. Which forces will produce moment respect to A? B, X. B, Y will not produce moment because if I slide the vector till point A that has no distance and I need this distance over here which is from here to here is 1.5 A. So I, this produce moment. So I will take moment respect to point A. But in order to take moment respect to point A, I need Bx. Therefore, from this same free body diagram, I will add forces in X, and I have Bx negative plus RCD in the x direction, which is sine of theta, sine of 30, sorry, equals to c. Therefore, bx is equals to 5.464f negative. So, since I drew this force in this direction and I got a negative value, it means that it goes in the opposite direction and it goes in the opposite direction also in the other diagram. Now that I have those two forces, I can go to the first diagram. So from free body diagram of member AB, the only equation of equilibrium that I will 
take is moment at A. Because I'm not interested in finding the forces that are produced at A, because the only question that I was asked to solve is the relation between F and F0. So I will take moment at A, and which forces produce moment. As I said, B, Y does not produce moment. B, X does, and I need this dimension, and I have it. So if you look at the, this dimension is A, and then I have negative A, B, X, right? And then I have negative 1.5 A times F zero. And that's the only two forces that produce moment. This is equals to zero. From here, I can say that F is A cancels out, right? And I got that F A is negative B X over 1.5. And since B X is negative, that becomes a positive number, right? So finally, I got the Fs is equals to 3.648. So I was able to find, I was able to find that if I apply a force in this handle to this mechanism, I am able to un almost get four times the force in this surface because we have a level here and a handle here, and this, we'll see, creates a moment that is transmitted to this member that increases the force in 3.64 times.